Pierre playing something I have never seen before. A Volkov? Of. I think that is a phenomenal pick. He's got the axe. He's got the scythe to counter Lance. He's got the signature kit. I think Volkov is probably one of the best picks you could maybe play into Coslix. Just thinking off the top, like weapon combo and everything. He does have four speed, a little bit slower on the slower side of things. But we'll have to see how this goes. Game number one, Pierre versus Coslix. Pierre on that Volkov, Coslix on that Macho Man, aka Olgrim. Pierre coming in first with that unarmed down there, allowing him to get the first weapon. Kostelix on the axe. Getting that nice little neutral there. Gets the sidelines there. Pierre coming back to stage with the nair. Kostelix using these uh, these axe hits, waking up out of him. Getting the falling stair. Working pretty well. Gets behind Pierre. Picks up the lance. Punishes the side sig. Hits the big neutral sig. Looks for another one. Pierre just hovering right above him. Picks up the GC sidelight nair. This is a very good damage lead, but now Pierre is on that axe. Now, as I say that, tagging him up three times. Sidelight recovery coming out from Kostelix's Lance, taking Pierre's first stock. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this Lance is still countering Pierre a little bit. Pierre laying that phenomenal Volkov signature as well. Oh, Lance, the second one. Kostelix just jumps right into it. And just like Kostelix did to... Um, to their opponent in the winner's quarterfinals, which was Radish, it came down to the signature sets here. So I think we'll be seeing a lot more unique characters just to see how the like how other players really react to it. Because if it's foreign to them, they're gonna have a difficult time countering it. Ice there coming out of Pierre, and right now between Cosmics and Pierre, it is very, very even. Pierre's starting to come back with the Vengeance, but Kostlix doing that lovely little chip piece. Pierre with the Scythe Nair leading into Kostlix's Nair Sair. It's going back and forth here. Very going back and forth right now. Oh! Wow. Let's get some again. Just using those SIGs, those Volkov SIGs, has the lead for the first time in this game. Gets a beautiful three piece on the axe. Uses that GC D light after the auto combo, but Kostlix not having it. Just running right at him, hitting that unarmed Haymaker, evening up the stocks one to one, picking up the Lance, the weapon he is known for. But Pierre picks up that D light ground pound, unarmed, grabs the axe, hits the Sair, putting Kostlix in orange. Definitely has to be a bit more careful now. Fully holds that, that side stick, looking for a GC neutral light dribble off of the ground. Definitely would have been some sauce. Lands the dare. Kostlix with these wake-ups. Almost lands a third. Air. <laughs> Side air. Takes the stock for Pierre. 1 0 in the set. Yo, he just read the living daylights at Kostlix. He knew he was going to go for that side air. And I think. Oh. Oh, okay. There it is. Okay. Sir Rollin? I don't know, Pierre's... Well, you know what? That neutral thing might catch him off guard. Mm hmm I don't know what to think about it. We'll have to see. That well. Taking it to that yeah. same map, too. The Shroland, the Goat, the Sir Knight. Will we see a difference here in the outcome of this game after this character swap? We'll see. Pierre already catching that massive dodge in. Pretty big side string. I know he probably definitely wanted some more there. Probably was looking for the kill. And Kostlik's returning right back. Looking for a huge ground pound. Trying to cover Pierre's last option. But Pierre with a ground pound of his own. And like you said, they really are just trading back and forth. That huge down sig. Stuffing Pierre's side sig. And the dare weapon throw. Just a simple little weapon throw on the top is going to kill. He was at the bottom of the stage. Now, the thing with Lance is it is so huge, it is so hard to round to get, like, you cannot avoid it. You have to burn your dodge to avoid it, and if you do, they just cover that. So, Kostlix using that weapon throw once again, you see him right there trying to use it on the way down. It's just a massive hitbox, you really have to respect it or use your dodge. But Pierre responding with the downer, Kostlix still has his recovery, uses it so frame perfectly, makes it back to the wall, no punish. Pierre still needs to find this kill onto Kostlix. Kostlix with the dare D like ground pound. Two stock lead for Kostlix on the Roland. You love to see it. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going into round. Or this is round two. Pierre has the lead. Now he's down by two stocks. Can he, if he comes back from this, we're definitely going to be 
seeing a really really close round three but right now we got pierre with the jump in air coming in onto pierre oh and then pierre with the scythe nair knockout on the cosmics first stock but this is definitely winnable by Coslix. but can pierre bring this back with the reeds oh he might oh he missed the recovery nice down light a huge oh. drink from there if he didn't miss that recovery 100 percent but Conflict's kind of just throwing out these sigs and yo i'm playing rolling now i can do this watch this down sig neutral sig down sig neutral light neutral sig pierre definitely weaving his way around <laughs> Conflict still throwing him out the GC down sig. Pierre's not dead yet, man. You gotta chill. More down sigs. More down sigs. Pierre just hovering over above him, getting the down air and not nice. letting him connect. These sigs. He's just mashing. Nice. He knows they're coming. It can't hit him with that at the bottom of the stage. Pierre with the recovery. Maybe Cossacks will stop messing around a little bit. <laughs> Runs up in there and clocks him in the jaw. <laughs> Took him out his first dog just like that. Cossacks a menace to society right now. Oh. <laughs> Dude, the haymaker was kind of nuts coming out of Coslex. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Lord. Three, two, one, brawl. Just full sending it at him, not really caring, you know. He Probably Pierre didn't expect it. Another time, Coslex just running at him, but an explosive yeah. start coming out from Pierre here with the sight. Coslix with a nice little sayer into the two-piece true combo side light in there, which is going to be building up a lot of damage for Coslix if you watch him and how many side light nairs he connects. There's another one. It's actually absurd. Pierre with the wake up GC neutral. I did connect. Wasn't able to find any sort of conversion afterwards. Sayering him. Definitely wanting that axe to counter this lance play. It seemed like he was trying to get the scythe out of his hands. So far, Coslix not really caring and pierre can't make it back the lance just pushing him so far off stage over and over again having to use these jumps to get back and he was just mashing his dodge it didn't come back in time coslix taking the first stock and keeping this momentum going yeah absolutely and right now i mean pierre's just having such a difficult time against coslix's uh overall lance right now man that lance is just throwing pierre around Nice little Silite coming in. And right now, Cossacks with that two piece. Oh, nice recovery by Pierre. Nice neutral signature. And Cossacks goes down to that second stock. Pierre in the red. Cossacks fresh too. Looking pretty good. But Pierre does have high decks. And high dex axe is not something we see too often. The D-Light GC uppercut doesn't kill quite yet. I was mentioning the dex because we throw out that GC downlight really quickly, getting a free little two-piece onto Coslix. Maybe we'll see more of that, but a big commitment ground pound coming out from Pierre in neutral. Just gets punished for free by Coslix's Sayre. That is going to give Coslix a massive lead. Not only does he have these newfound signatures onto Roland that he's been using pretty well, but he also has the higher defense compared oh, to Pierre. Pierre just barely whiffing that down air. I, I think Coslix messed up, didn't mean to use all of his options. Weapon throw at the bottom of the stage. Pierre's down air just literally giving him a haircut, not connecting on the way down. Definitely could have been a free confirm, but Coslix getting his feet back on the stage. Maybe not quite yet, but still oh, pulling up his damage nonetheless. The weapon throw up, unarmed recovery, picks up the lance, hits the nair. This is looking like it might be another point for Coslix. And there it is, the weapon throw GC down like ground pound. Another beautiful use of these lance weapon throws coming out from Coslix. Yeah, absolutely. And right now, Coslix going ahead and getting that second point to their name. We'll have to see what Pierre really pulls out here. If he's going to keep on going with that Volkov. It was a lot different compared to that second round that they had. Pierre originally had a very more closer lead. Now Caustics is starting to adapt. Will Pierre be able to go ahead and find something to counter him to go to game five? We'll have to see. But right now, the Rayman is coming back out as we go ahead and get into round four. And this is one of the other characters that Pierre does play. He's very much a versatile 
um, player when it comes down to how many legends he plays compared to most people, right? Some players have one or two main characters or three. Up here, you can play five to seven, right? So we'll have to see going forward, but we're now pierre having uh those gauntlets cossacks having that sword both getting nerfed recently in the most recent patch so we'll have to see who uses the weapons to their favorite pierre with the side air miss not there though we're now on that ledge gets that weapon throw gets the nair into a jump side air and right now it's pretty even between both players cossacks staying so grounded that's one thing i respect so much about cossacks is just his ability to just keep his feet put on the ground even when his opponent is hovering right above them but pierre doesn't matter so far going absolutely crazy on this axe landing these recoveries gosling still really isn't like too he is in the red but like he's still living that sarah i think this high defense is definitely showing off for the roland pick I right, saw so unarmed side lights coming out from cosling's pierre looking much better on this rayman pick Maybe a more comfortable Axe Legend for him. I'm not sure. I think his Rayman may be a bit higher level. But does get the first stock onto Cossacks. He is only in the orange as well. Tagging Cossacks up with these Axe Downers. Cossacks looking for the dash jump. Ser definitely looking like he's struggling on this sword now. As I say that, the D-Light there does connect. No dribble combos. I think that is the main thing. They nerfed on sword. It's really hard to find any sort of conversions off of Downer. But he doesn't... Oh. Picks up the Lance, a massive down signature, just covering so freaking much area. And that is definitely one of the things I know Cosmics for is that one sig specifically on this character loves to go out off stage. And it just, it's so quick. The hitbox is so huge. It definitely catches you off guard. Just like it did to Pierre. And the stocks are even. The Ser does connect with his gauntlets. The sidelight looking for the read picks up the axe. He is sent off stage. There it is again. Tries to reverse slide charge it this time. Much more risky. Doesn't die for it quite yet. But the Sare will do it. Yeah, and right now, man, this is the, this is the lead that uh, Pierre needed over Cossacks to go ahead, go ahead and go into round five here. But Cossacks is starting to adapt. Pierre's got to be very careful what he's doing. He has to be careful of the signature set that Cossacks has. You're seeing a lot of down signatures, a lot of neutral signatures earlier when he was just trolling with them. But that might be a only option that Cossacks might try to use going forward. That neutral signature with Roland's kind of nuts. Uh, but Pierre's Rayman signature is also kind of nuts. But he just got read by Cossacks. And Pierre's down to the final stock right now. It's a huge ground pound coming out from Cossacks. The Lance ground pound is going to be a game changer for sure. But just like that, two people into the recovery coming up from pierre uh taking out costlix very solid one stock it seems like costlix is kind of just cycling through the lance legends now we saw him off on the olgram swapped to the roland lost this last game and now he is on the level 100 scarlet and you're talking about pierre being versatile while he's fighting a player that mains one weapon but not only does he main one weapon he perfects this weapon he perfect when you guys think of lance you know who you think of boom costlix everyone i guarantee you off the bat thinks of costlix and i got to give costlix major respect for just sticking one weapon no matter the changes no matter the characters he holds on to that lance he reps it tried and true as i say that priming the lance in front of pierre's face picking up that hammer getting rid of it pierre responding back with some beautiful axe hits into the sir fully charging that down signature recovery spike off the stage is not going to kill pierre the GC side stick is going to come very close to killing Cossix, not quite yet. Has to use all of his options to get back. The down air is going to put Cossix in very kill percent, and the side air is going to be the kill. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, Pierre having a lead, but this is not a big enough lead that he needs to win. He needs to go ahead and knock Cossix a little bit around before Cossix knocks him out of that. Oh, first stock, and Cossix with the Scarlet Hammer signature knock out so very nice job coming out of cossacks there but right now pierre with a two-piece unarmed picks up that axe gets hit a little bit hit by cosslicks was a little bit too high for that greg it's a side signature and right now things are even between both these players Cosslicks oh definitely God. was a bit behind but these lands hits be hitting they be busting they are not missing the down stick oh! comes out the neutral comes out hits him with the tipper man barely connects but it does and the force is not it, it doesn't change if you hit the very very last frame 
you will still get hit by the full effect of the signatures so that definitely will confirm pierre onto his last stock and this is the game for both of them that they need to win to move on so pierre is on his last stock in a bit of a disadvantage nothing crazy though cosmic picking up that side light there another side light there almost putting him in the red a very dark orange another side light there will put him in the red and this is why he plays lance man this is it he plays the weapon so well he builds up his damage he finds the kills when he needs to oh. with the gcd like ground pound wake up evening up the stocks Coslick's coming in on the fresh talk, goes for the Haymaker again. It's actually fairly close hitting Pierre, definitely backdashes off the stage. Doesn't want to get hit by another Haymaker. Pierre not grabbing the weapon spawn right in front of him. Maybe he's a bit nervous. Maybe he wants Ooh. to play the <laughs> Swaps over to the Gauntlets after hitting major unarmed hits. Coslick's looking for this kill. He is on the hammer though, goes for the GC down, so it gets punished. The sideline there goes for the re, doesn't oh. find it. Pierre with another weapon throw, and the stair oh. is going to take it. Coslick's winning the set over Pierre.